And there the Brazilian team without Pele. Pascal, number 20, the man who's come in. Jerson has come in to replace Danielson. Jerson has now got over uh, his ankle injury. And John Santos, the only survivor of that game in 1954, which was done in history of the Battle of Bern, when these two countries, the only time they've ever met, got at cross purposes with one another. We're interested to see how we shall play with two youngsters up front. Well, three youngsters going to the only experienced man. Now, Hungary, they've made some changes, as is to be expected. Sedi Miai has gone out in goal. Jilai has come in. Now, we'll see that Matt Fry will play as a sweeper behind a line of four. Shifosh will come back. And uh, Matej is a new man. So is Shepeshe, uh, number 17, Shepeshe Shidunka. For ease of reference, I'm going to call him Shepeshe. And the front four with perhaps Farkas um, lying behind um, Bene, Albert and Rakoshi. The Hungarians, of course, must win tonight. If they lose tonight, they are out of the competition because they will have no points and they'll have no chance at all of getting in one of the two top positions. That's Mr. Yamasaki just going up to his line on the far side. And there is Gelai, the new goalkeeper from Setabanya Miners. And um, Grosic, the famous Hungarian goalkeeper, was trainer for that team, Setabanya Miners. And strange enough, number 17, Shepherdier, also played for the same team. He's come in as well, so that team has provided two of the three new men that Hungary are putting out tonight. It's Brazil to kick off. Already you can see the Hungarian defensive formation. Matt Rye's even further back to the left. And Brazil kick off. Brazil in the late step. Could be a very difficult step. To number 17, Galzinho. Yes, and a great midfield player. Here in Lima, I think, are going to stamp their personalities on this world. Down the center to Lima. And the corner. Well, there's Gela in action straight away. Corner to Brazil. Jalma Santos. Hungary coming out to play the offside game. And another corner to Hungary. To uh, Brazil, rather. Whose last World Cup defeat was in 1954 when they played Hungary at Bern in a quarter final. Look at that one. Oh, almost a goal by Toscao. You notice the swerve from Garincha? Well, our studio experts say that we should stop this, these swerving free kicks and corners, but that's uh, easier to stop in the television centre than out on the pitch. And the cages which have been built for the World Cup to stop any over-enthusiastic gentleman uh, presenting a bottle or something to a player, but now what do you do? That's number five, Majoli, proving he's quite a gymnast. Joey. This is Albert. I hope it's an unlucky game on Wednesday night. That's Kassar. This is Alcindo. There's Matry, the sweeper up behind the line of four, but Hungary are playing. Benny. Oh, great chance for Benny now. He's going to score. He has done. Bede has scored for Hungary. A splendid goal up to only three minutes. And what a goal scored by Bede, the top goal scorer 
in the Olympic Games. Alfred Hungary one goal to nil in the lead after only three minutes. The first for Taxi Hungarians made. That shows you what a great ball player, a great dribbler can do. The first goal against Brazil in this competition. So we're all set then for a fantastic game, I should say. Because the standard of football in this group has been such that I reckon the two teams that go out would qualify in any other group. Jairzinho. Here in defense then is that's right came away. She posh covered it. How's that? Okay, okay hungry. Number two is Kaposta. This is Albert. unbeaten for over two years and now a goal to nail down. Corner to Hungary. And Benny to take the corner. Rakoshi. And the corner. And Genoa, number one, the Brazilian goalkeeper, playing his 92nd international. There's Bene playing his 19th. Only 22. Splendid player. Gorincha, he's got to turn it on tonight. Five minutes gone. Hungary leads Brazil, 1-0. Number eight, Enrique. Total. And the flag went up for offside, and uh, is offside. We kick to Hungary. We big up for Hungary. Mm. In time, it didn't work for Bene, number seven. And has scored all Hungary's goals in this competition. Scored against Portugal. Mickey, a dangerous one, it's not paid off. The Bakash. Albert and Brazil look rattled now. The defense is making errors. This is Rakoshi with the chance for number two. And the old man of the mountain, Jalma Santos, who has a couple of parentheses for leg number two. 39 years of age, 96 cap. A fantastic servant to his country. Corner to Hungary. Now has Grincher got the see. Up to beat Sheppishay. So 
Rioli. Marco. Andre playing lovely stuff. Matej. Cheap point. Kaposta. Rakoshi. And Bellini is fouled by Bene. That's the sporting spirit I found throughout the whole of this World Cup. The man is penalised, quite willing to shake hands, get on with the game. Lima. Jairzinho. a fine save by Gilmar. Ten minutes gone. Corner to Hungary lead 1-0. Out about which side the Merseyside fans are on. They're chanting Hungary, Hungary, Hungary. Tostal. Alfindo. Oh, how long do you want? And that's Rakoshi, a forward getting that ball away. Beautiful ball to Alves. And, uh, This game already living up to the high group three standard. Number 16, Garincha going to leave it, I think, for John Santos. Now the short three kick. Garincha can't do it anymore. I know some of our old-fashioned people aren't going to like this, but Hungary are leading 1-0, and they're playing this game without orthodox wingmen. They are not carrying anybody on the wing. Bene spending all his time in the middle. Garzinho. Alcindo, I think... All the players are going to find it difficult to turn quickly and keep their feet. That's right, Albert. Mate. Oh, what a beautiful ball to Barkais. Rakosh is going down the left now. Benny. Jess and Lehman and Jess have been pushed out of this match so far. To Stahl. Mazzoli. Can 
think it's a foul. No doubt about it, there's much more craft about the Hungarian side at the moment than there is about the Brazilian side. Number 20, it's a foul. Should be a naughty one. Cindo and Jason leaving it for each other. Albert. Albert is outside. Yes, the free kick has been given by Mr. Dagnall, the referee from Bolton. Brazil struggling, one down, one to build down, Enrique. Looks hit by hands to me. Yes, and Rakoshev. Acknowledging it, the goal scorer was Bene after three minutes. 16 minutes. Who's going to bend this free kick? Lima is the man on the left, then Gorincha. Is Lima going up? And Sosao has equalized. Right Sosao, the little coin has become the golden coin of Brazil on the 15th minute. With an equalizer. There's Sosao. Pays for Cruzeiro, and that goal has probably won for Brazil quite a number of Cruzeiros. The star the scorer for Brazil, Bene for Hungary. Enrique now to Lima, to Jason. One goal each. Dalma Santos. And the way now come hungry. Albert. Farkash. Benny. It's a beauty in comes Rakashi. Dalma Santos there. Number 20, Sosal. Alcindo, it's got Jairzinho with him. There's Jairzinho. And there's the Samba expert. Getting happier and happier now that we're still a level. by Florian Albert. Free kick to Brazil. And here's Garincha. Up to Alcindo. Oh, that does it. Jairzinho. Up to Matej. Little Rakashi keeps foraging everywhere, working tremendously hard. Matej. Little Rakashi. Hungary still retain possession. Oh, what a wretched one. 
takes. Not in keeping with the general high standard of the football in this North West group. Jalmer Sanders. Gorincha throw to Brazil. And it's Albert coming back to work as a midfield player at times, a beautiful mover on and off the ball. Give yourself these hungry at these Brazilian chance tackles. Jazinho, Alcindo, Jazinho. Corner. There's Jazinho, the 22 year old. He won't take the corner. Jason will take it. Jason, the midfield player. What a wonderful answer. Group B is giving to those who say this will be. A defensive World Cup. No, they've uh, changed their mind. Garinches come over to take it. Might as well have left it to um, Jess. There's been nothing defensive about this group. It is everybody concentrating on attack. Splendid stuff to watch. And this is under terrible conditions. It's rain coming down, it's a fine drizzle which is making the pitch so slippery. Farkash with his stockings roll down. The screening of the ball prevents the challenge. Kaposhta. Mejoli. Ball to Benny. Twenty minutes gone. Goal kick to Brazil, and it's one goal each. Rakic. Reflected by Gilmar. Rakoshi. Flagging for hands by Rakoshi. Free kick to Brazil. Albert. Now to Fakai. And Benny. Unfortunately, back has come up to help now. Both teams so fluid. Back four will come up to join in an attack. The middle and front three is a wheeling run in this in a circle, this wheel movement to fix attackers all the time. And now Matroy has gone up into the penalty area. And there's the, no Enrique getting it away. Is 
systemized football which is working perfectly because of so many good players on the pitch Jalmer Santos now Benny This is Jairzinho, 17. <laughs> Tassau. And Tassau brought down. Well, are we going to see another one of those famous free kicks? Rakoshi calling people back. Now, let's have a really big wall. If they're going to bend it, they'll have to bend it sensationally. Go Goalkeeper bobbing around. I've never seen a wall as big as this. What's it got? It's got seven men in it. And it can now come back. Ten yards from the ball. Jason or Gorincha are going to have a dip at this one. Here comes Gorincha. Yes. Lima. Jess. Bakash. Twenty-five minutes gone. It's one goal each. Chassal. Jazinho. Tassau. Scary defense. He's carrying a wee bit of age. I suppose than 34. Can be a bit slow on the turn. But beautifully brought down by Jazinho. Very tough. Rakashi comes back to Attacking this defense, a foul by Lima, free kick to Hungary. Rakoshi with one of the forwards. Always coming back to help the defense and it's in trouble. Garincha. Matej. Mejoli, one of the back four. Jess. But Jess fine midfield play, but he and Lima haven't got hold of this game at all yet. Number 80, Enrique. Number 11, Jess. And John Santos. Shepherdshire with it now. Matej. Albert. An elegant player. Sports reporter back home. Will you, David? Not only right about it, he can do it. Now, Lima. Sweep it up, Matrai. She paused. And now it's up to Mate Chen Albert shooting forward, but it's gone to Benny. Tire number six. Next time we get a glimpse of him, a dynamic tackler. A little too dynamic then, it's a free kick to Hungary, going to be taken by number two, Kaposhta. Ooh, it's a nasty looking one. That is height was curling away from the goalkeeper. Brakoshi. And the corner. Ooh, 
And did I hear Billy right the other evening say that Gilmar was suspect with high cross balls? The Hungarians are playing on it now. Mario Man doesn't jump unless he's really got to. Garincha. Jarzinho has got a center, almost a center forward now coming over to help Jarzinho. Looks in need of help. This is Sassal. No oh, one each. Goalkeeper is making some runner. Bad clearances. He's not finding his own. Many finding Brazilian. Chiposh, the Hungarian captain. It's about on the half hour, and it's one each. Farkas, number ten, Rakoshi making the break on the left. Here's Rakoshi. He's got Benny in the middle. There's Benny. It's caught on the wrong side. Both these teams can turn it on. There's Bede, the scorer of the Hungarian goal. This is Alcindo. And Jorginho did slow off the mark. You can see how slippery it is. How far? Jelle. Skidded then. Here's Albert. One goal each. And now by Ricky for the return. And Altair, lovely for like the Hungarians we knew what to do. So 13 years ago, there's Albert. Number nine, no time for Shinpad. This is a football match, not a kicking match. How about that then? Lima. Jason taking over. Enrique just on his left. And up. Down goalman Jalma Santos. Jalma Santos. Finding Farkas. The accuracy of the passing of both these teams is simply amazing. In the conditions that neither of them like. With Kitty surface and a free kick. And a foul by Matej on Enrique. This is Jason. And the flag's up for offside. Yes, offside in given. Jardinho. Jardinho running towards us now. He's spending quite a lot of time in the middle, alternating with Alcindo. Jelai finding one of his own men. Albert. Jardinho taking over. Ah, takes it too far. Now the header come on. This is Farkas. There's Benny. Notice he was right on the spot. Any little mistake by Gilmar, he'd have been at it. Enrique, the defender, from the edge of the goal area. Corner to Hungary. One each. All of the Brazilians don't even bother to come back. The front four, now number 20, Sassau has come back. It's a little late, though, to take on Rakoshi. And that 
to be another corner. No. There's now though. Brazilian defense. Not looking. Oh, that magnificent. Rakoshe. But it's Faris. Played in the last World Cup. Jolie, one of the center backs. Outside, number six. Finding Jason. Jazzinho and whipped away by this man, Matrai. Sasao. Rakoshi was the man, Father. Rakoshi is a forward. But there he is, the first sign of danger. Back he comes to join his pullback. Oh, a lovely bit of work by Albert. And that was Lima sliding him down. There's Albert, number nine. This is his 52nd cap. He's only 25. Chipos taking the free kick to Benny for Hungary, one each. Uh, Jazzinho. Ten minutes before half-time, and is that offside? Yes, offside. And Chipos. This is such a fluid, interesting game with the back coming up to join an attack. Jazzinho. Not hit the highlights um, recently. Jazzinho. Oh, oh, that's not the sort of matter we expect in a game of this class. And now it's Farkas, it's Albert moving forward. Now to Benny. Rakoshi. Enrique, and up comes Kaposta. Bouncing badly for him. Now to Benny, number seven. Caposta. Two teams are going to have to pace themselves early. Must be pretty trying out there on the misty pitch. They're keeping up a cracking pace. Splendid football. That's a bad one, huh? Albert. Marcus. Hello, Enrique. Jet. Postal. Enrique. Really tips of Lima so far tonight. That was Jason who moved up. Now, 16 is Garincha. to watch in this match. No finish about Matrai. He's just there to sweep up anybody who gets through that back line of four. My goodness, he's doing it well. The 
Hoekstal. Oh, it's a goal! No, Hoekstal. Five seaports. bit of defensive play by Schiphol and offside Rosinho and there's Schiphol the man the captain the man who saved this team then we can the leader the culprit and there's Rakushi on the far side. And here's Albert. This is Mijoli. Albert. Toftal playing a fine game for Brazil. Keep an eye on number 20. Now Mijoli for Hungary. Stop clean out. The Farkas. It's too hurried. Now Kaposhka. Oh, I wish I could lip read in a Hungarian. I'll bet shouting in a Barkash. Here's Toftal. Playing so well for Brazil. He wasn't really expected to be picked. Scored a goal and working very hard. And it's one each. Grincha. Now Grincha seems to have gone now. All the old bites and fire and dynamic burst of speed. Number 11 is Jessen. Well, that was Grincha, not offside. Mad with himself. Grincha had a chance then to put his team in the lead. I wonder what the Portuguese is for what a clot I feel. That is a beautiful ball. And oh, Bandini was caught in two minds. Barkas has held it too long, I think. Benny. Colleagues ran off the ball well, but... Uh, Jazzino. Alcindo. Owen Lima just not with it tonight. Jazzino. Oh, Jazzino. Enrique. Oh, what a match this is. This is the third match in this group. We saw a cracker between Brazil and Bulgaria. Another cracker between Portugal and Hungary. And this one's as good as the previous two. Position in this group at the moment, Portugal and Brazil, two points each. Hungary and Bulgaria, no points. Jolie. Half time in two or three minutes. Albert. Farkash, number 10. Ship is shade. Sheeposh. Oh, beautiful ball. Now to Rakashi. Benny is waiting for a short cross. There's Benny. Oh, he's got Albert is behind him. But the Brazilians have covered up so well. She pushed one second up front, now back in defense. Here's the sweeper, Matroy. Right. 
Shepeshe. To Albert. And away now comes Lima. Now Brazilians have got four against three. And Matt Ryers for third tackle. Rakoshi. what the crowd is expecting when they whistle a sensible back pass like that they, they're being fed on so much good football so much excitement they want it all the time Jason now a bad ball Benny Farkas and Lima Whistle will go any second now for half time. Ken Bagger watching his hand. The foul. And the whistle goes for the end of the first half. The score Brazil one, Hungary one. And for the second time in this competition, Goodison Park, where they really know their football, rises to the two teams as they go off at half-time. Now, Mr. Dackel, the referee, who refereed this match so well, but then perhaps an easy game to referee these two teams to sporting, play the game magnificently. Aye, aye, that shows you referees have got to be fit as well. And so... One goal each. Hungry start. The second half. I'm sure we're going to see sensation in the second half. You still remember the only team in the competition who qualified for every World Cup final competition. Gazzino. Enrique. Garincha taking over. Jazzino, oh, a beautiful offside, he's offside, he is offside, he is offside. Not a word of protest from any of the players, there's Jazzino had a goal disallowed for offside. Side goals, we've had them cleared off the line with its superb football. This is another night at Goodison Park to remember. The foul for Brazil. Gazzino. Jess. Jalma Santos. Well, superb flexor. What a master footballer he is. Now Jess. And Enrique. And Jalmo Santos. Jelai, the Gary goalkeeper, wearing 21. John Bellini, now Benny. The foul to Dazzino. And Alcindo, number 18, is limping. He's been banished to the wing. And it's Jesson trying to come through. That's Chepeche, the man who whipped it off. So. So Brazil down to 10 fit men. There's the limping Alcindo. 
and Garincha. Jalmer Santos. Costal. Jazinho is offside again. Jazinho is obviously going to operate as a striker in the middle of the pitch. Play. Enrique back to outside. Enrique Jazinho and good old fashioned tackling, and only the odd foul there for the non looker is Albert. Number 13, the man who went down is Mate. About five minutes of the second half gone. Three kicks to Hungary, one goal each. Now, here we come, Jazinho. And here's the limping out spindle. be a crack on the ankle. He was limping towards the end of the first half, but he's really in trouble. Farkas. Now Kaposka, and this is the first attack the Hungarians in the second half. That is that's a beautiful one. The first half. There's number two, Kaposta. Costal, number 20. And it's a throw to Hungary, surely, yes. Now, Albert. Oh, what a player he is. And who is that who brought him down? Yes. Outside. Outside. That's the second time Albert has been gliding his way through when he's been Don't expect too much of these incidents. This has been a very clean game. Don't let anybody kid you that it's been a rough and tumble. Rakoshi with a free kick for Hungary. Yes. Oh, they almost worried the goalkeeper into a mistake. And it's hun Hungary the chance. All the Brazilians with him. An awful tiz. And they still are. It's Benny. Altair coming away. Tostao and Jazinho is onside this time. And what a player he is! Well, and Jeopardy almost breaking the goal net. And there's Jazinho, what a turn of speed. How he managed to break through those two sandwiching defenders, I'll never know. But anyway, away we go. Mijoli has even gone up as attacker now for Hungary. Oh, thrilling stuff. Throw to Hungary. Now this is Farkas. Number 13 is Matesh. And Albert. And again it was Mitchell 
Number five, who went up then, is causing a lot of trouble by moving up Umisala Jackie Charlton. And he's, he's hurt. Asaya looking at Astrid. At Mizzoli. Playing the role Jackie Charlton plays. But the game goes on. Now it's Albert. Racing over to him to sell him out. Already knows he misses one he should have scored. And there's Rakoshi, number 10. Uh, Parkash, rather, number 10, really disgusted with himself. Up their own throat as they start missing chances as they did against Portugal. Albert again starting another attack. The digestion for Brazil. And offside. This time, Garincha. really were built that way. They've been like that since first. That's the sort of football we think. Even defenders are willing to play it and try it on. And Jalma Santos caught obstructing. Three kicks to Hungary, number 17. Shepeshi going to take it. Ten minutes of the second half gone. One each. Farkash. Rakashi. And the Brazilians were lucky then, eh? Bit too lax sometimes in defense. People leaving it for, for everyone else. Ah, yes. Garincha came back. Just look at those legs. It's a miracle he can even walk, let alone play football with them. Sindo, it's a bad one for Tostal. Number 11 is Rakoshi. Now, Jairzinho. Jessen. We pallet some Hungarian defenders. A beautiful ball. Timing. Farkas, now Benny. Albert, weak in the middle. And that could only have been inches away. And there's Benny. Benny scored all the goals that um, Hungary scored in this competition so far. Brazil now keeps switching either Garincha or Jairzinho going into the middle. Alcindo as good as out of the game. Alcindo 18. Well, you can't play this sort of standard with only um, 10 fit men. Now, Albert again to Farkas, but it's throw to. Hungry. Oh, that's a foul throw. He can't get away with that. Jesse. Ah, a toss down. Jazzinho. And that was Matrai, the foul. And I think Jardino's been caught just above the heel. And here he comes. Americo. Here he comes. 
Used to be a drummer in a dance band, and then the authorities found out that he was too young, so he had to be stopped. There's Dr. Hilton Gosling. Well, he's got enough worries on his plate. Pele with a bad knee, Alcindo limping, and now Jazzino, who looks as if he might be clicking into his old form, uh, going down with obviously a painful blow just above his heel. Zito also on the injured list. So things not going all Brazil's way. And of course the pressure on them as the world champions. And there's a great conference among the Hungarians at Shiposh. Shiposh on the left. And Jazzinho all right. Number 17, Jazzinho plays for Botafogo, club in Rio de Janeiro. Free kick to Brazil, Jesson. Alan Pokash can take the ball on his own. And he's beating Bellini for speed. Jalmo Santos, an appeal for a penalty, but nice, he slipped in, there's Albert, did he slip or was he pushed, that's the question, Mr. Dackel said he slipped, and Albert is writhing in agony, and the whistle has gone, the whistle has gone as Carinch is streaking away, but it's no good. Calm yourself down, Gorincha. And there's somebody else trying to stop Gorincha has injured himself. Well, that's... Um, that's right. Gone down. 15 minutes gone. One each. It's Kevin Howley not knowing what to do now. Well, Albert, at this end, to our left, and Matrai is all right at the other end, thank goodness. And I think Albert's all right at this end, isn't he? There's Matrai. And, and there's Albert. Well, Albert having a great game. He first on the international scene, looks as like if he was going to be a great centre forward. Got so far, never got any farther. He was always very good, but... Never great, but certainly he's had two splendid matches in this World Cup. In the last World Cup competition, he was the only player to get three goals in a match. He did against Bulgaria, and the Hungarians know that hopefully. He'll do it again, and now Kaposhka for Hungary. Corner. One goal each. Benny, number seven, scored for Hungary. Tostal, number 20, scored for Brazil. And the crowd right behind Hungary now. Lovely one two movement. See how accuracy of passing. Both these teams can use the short ball and the long ball. And this is little Rakoshi. There's Jalma Santos. And Lima. Lima struggled all night, and here's a man struggling with an injury, Alcindo. <laughs> Throw to Brazil. It's Jalma Santos. Enrique. Oh, a bit of work by Matrai. And yes, speed up by Mejoli. Dangerous play, indirect free kick. Enrique just feeling to see if his eyebrows are still there. Now, it's no use um, Gorincha having one of his uh, screw walls because this is an indirect free kick. A goal cannot be scored direct. So Gorincha says, well, it can't be scored direct. I want no part of it. 
And it's Jessen going to take it. Got a bit of offside, I think. Yes. Three kicks, two. Hungry. <laughs> now, Jason. Try playing superbly for Hungary. Now, Albert. Oh, a lovely ball. He's been laying on these passes. Now, the Benny. In comes a lovely goal by Marcus. A great goal. And a fantastic shot by Barkas. Barkas, number 10. That makes up for the miss that Barkas made. And Barkas, the man who scored the second goal. Benny the first. There's Barkas, the scorer of the second. Passau got the goal for Brazil. And once again, then Brazil faced their first World Cup defeat since Hungary beat them in 1954. Whose throw is it? It's uh, Hungary's throw. No, it's not. It's Brazil's throw. <laughs> Mr. Dagron just uh, telling Mr. Shepherdshire off a little. Bit of Lancashire action to get through to a Hungarian. It's number 11, Rakoshi. Now, Albert. Oh, it's Albert again. Albert to Penny. minutes of the second half gone. 2-1. Hungary in the lead against Brazil. And this is champagne by the Magnum. Enrique now into Lima. Oh my goodness, that hurts. Oh, that's Matrai. Almost knocked his head off his shoulder, but he's still on his feet. Feeling to see it's still there and he can use it. And Albert playing the game of his life. Barkas. Kapushta. Oh, led on by Albert for Benny. And Mejoli back there. Sheffersche and Hungary have got the world champions going now. Farkas. Altair. Out to Jalma Santos. And here's Matroy, the man who stopped that pile driver with his head. Still going strong and Kapushta breaking on the right. Now Albert. Kaposta. And the Hungarians won't be beaten back. It's Rakoshi. And 
corner to Hungary, and if you listen to the crowd, you'd think this was Everton playing Brazil. Well, that's what the crowd think. They think it's easy. Rakoshi with the corner for Hungary. And a goal kick. Goal kick. There's Jomar. I remember goal average counts in these eight final matches, and I think it's going to count in this group three. And now, here comes Jacinho. Oh, a lovely move. Lovely move. Jacinho playing his heart out, playing better than I've seen him play for a long, long time. Pelé's watching in as he's tell in Cheshire. He must be biting his fingernails down to the roots now. Lima. And I think Brazil need the genius of a Pelé to pull this game round. Jalma Santos. Jairzinho, Lima, Postal. And Matroy. Lima to Enrique. Lima, Enrique. And Albert. Oh, what a graceful mover he is. Oh, magnificent stuff. Kaposha. 20 minutes left and Hungary 2 1 in the lead. Farkas, the man who got the second goal. Albert, the man who made it. Bellini, up, up to Lima. Tostal. Again, so quick to come back and pile up in defense and they'll break away into attack. Wonderful, fluid stuff they're playing. There he is, Parkas. Costal. This is the triple Alcindo. The rincher on his right. Jardinho, I think, the one forward who could pull it out in the Brazilian side. He and Tostal, the only two that seem to have any real bite about them. A foul, Enrique bringing down Albert. There's Enrique. I have an idea that Mazzoli is suffering a bit from cramp. Now, he's just been rubbing his calves. He's rolled his stockings down. This is Kaposta. Mazzoli is looking a wee bit weary now. Number 11, Rakoshi. Mazzoli just on the center line now, looking, there he is, he's all his stockings done, and I think he might be feeling the pace. Well, who can blame him? It's been a crippling pace. Uh, Jalma Santos, Tostao on his right, number 20. It's Tostao, and here's Gorincha. And a Macanettle saddle by Shepherdshire. Albert, number nine. Oh, look at this player. He's a charmer. To Benny. Good work with number three. Penalty. Enrique brings down Benny. And a penalty to Hungary, who lead by two goals to one. And 
Hernandez. Altair going to place the ball. And it's Mejoli, number five. The man we think might be having a bit of trouble with cramps. Coming to take it. As somebody is... Benny, I think, is going off for attention. No, he's not. He's staying on. There he is. Benny scored one goal, helped to make another. And now brought down for a penalty. And there's some of the Hungarians don't look. Shepeshe isn't even looking. He's buried his face in his hands. He's turned his back on the goal. So too is Rakoshi. They can't look, but here comes Mazzoli. 3-1. Now they can look. They all race to him. Number 17, uh, Shepherdshire, one of the men who couldn't look. So it looks as if Brazil are beaten. Benny, now the man who was brought down for the penalty that brought that third goal scored by Mejoli has gone off for attention. Brazil have gone without defeat. Now, there's 3-1 down. And a free kick now to Brazil. There's Gorincha. a quarter of an hour left for play and the world champions are trailing 3-1 and the crowd chatting we want four group this is. Now, away goes Rakoshi. What a beautiful ball. There across to Shepeshe. Now Kaposhta. Rakoshi. And it's slipped. Oh, Benny, what a miss. Benny had the chance to make it four. <laughs> and here goes Albert again. And some of the Brazilians seem to have backed it in now. And Park, it's a goal, it's four! No, it's no goal. It is no goal. Farkas is offside. He is offside. He is up offside. Farkas must have moved forward just a wee bit too far. Well, they'll argue about that one. Was Farkas offside? Because the Brazilians now look as if they're on the point of packing it in completely. There's Rakoshi. Hungary. The last time a European team beat Brazil, European nation, was on May the 12th, 1963, when 
Italy beat them in Milan. Now Shepherdshire. There's Shepherdshire, number 17. One of the three changes that Hungary have made for tonight. Well, those people who've seen the, the matches in this Group 3 in the Northwest, whatever they paid for the tickets, they've had it great entertainment cheaply. They on, and away goes Albert again. Oh! Shirley went over with the ball then. Over anxious. Free kick to Brazil. Oh, splendid stuff by Jalma Santos. But Hungary of and Mejoli has fallen heavily on his shoulder. He's gone down and he's not got up. Parkash number ten. Shepherdshire's lifted Mazzoli up and said, for goodness sake, play on. But there's Mazzoli. Nice Jazzino. And Matrai siding him down. That's Mazzoli, the man who scored from the penalty. And you can't have um, Barotti, that's Mr. Barotti, the team manager of Hungary. No one is wringing his hands, and he thinks it's broken. He thinks it's broken. Well, that was an ominous sign that Mr. Barotti, let's hope he's wrong. Ten minutes left. Hungary leading 3-1. Broken or not, Mijoli looks as if he's going to stay on. No, he's not. He's got to come off. And there's, and there's Barotti. Well, now, it looks as if this is a serious injury. The crowd rising to Mijoli as he comes off the field. And there's a free kick by Nima. The game is now on. And offside, free kick to um, Hungary, who are down to 10 men. What a dramatic match this has been. had an unlucky match against Portugal. They missed a lot of chances, also had a lot of bad luck. Now they recover. Lead Brazil 3-1, but they lose a man with an injury that put, could put him out of the competition. Nothing going right for the Hungarians. Bellini to Altair. Jalma Santos. <whistles> Jalma Santos brought down by Barkas. And he's come back. He's come back, what, with his arm in a sling? He's come back with his arm in a sling. I have, I don't think I've ever seen this. Well, that's the bravest thing I've seen since Jenny Byrne played the cup final for Liverpool with a bro broken collarbone. Mejoli must know now that even the slightest bump on that shoulder could perhaps finish his whole career. And Albert. Oh, 
Fincher to anchor Suarez from a long way out. Well, have you ever seen such guts in a World Cup match? The Majoli scored one goal. Marcash, and away goes Albert. Albert number nine, he's got Benny with him, and up comes Kaposta. This is Kaposta. Oh, bad one. There's Mejoli. Rakoshi. He only needed a flick. Now Kaposta. But... The linesman is flagging, I think. Bit of a case of offside somewhere. Well, Brazil's World Cup record is twice winners, the second and the third. Hungary never won it. They've been runners-up twice. And this game between the two nations, good enough for the final. Out of play, it's a throw to Hungary. This is modern football at its shimmering best, and Hungary in magnificent form. Jesson to Lima, and Hungary leads. The world champions Brazil, three goals to one. And a free kick to Brazil. Jairzinho brought down by Shepherdshire. Is Garincha going to have a crack? Yes, but not a squirber. And it's oh, a great save. Great save from Alcindo. a corner to Brazil. Well, I can watch extra time of this match. Altai. Lima. There's Majoli. Oh, it's, and it's cramped. The cramp that worried him earlier on has got him now. Wakash. And the way streaks Rakoshi. He's onside. Bonner. Rakoshi plays with Ferenc Varosh. Mr. Dagnall, no doubt, say you've not long to go, boy. Get on your feet. Corner to Hungary, going to be taken by Farkas. Number 17 is Shepeshe. Number 10 is Farkas. Albert. Now, Enrique. Now, back come Hungary. It's Benny. Kaposta breaking on the right, and here's Kaposta on old Albi. Linesman, Mr. Yamashaki of Peru. Flagged him offside. Oh, 
Only two minutes from the end, not counting, of course, injury time. So it looks this is great performance by Hungary is going to be rewarded with a victory. Tostao to Jairzinho. Tostao. The referee will play on then because Brazil had possession. Alcindo this time fouled. They take on free kick. Tostao. and Rakrashi and it is Barkas go oh, for the third time in succession here in the northwest I think we're going to see the crowd rise to these two teams at the end and the end is very very near now Garincha Garincha to Jairzinho Enrique, the Brazilian back. And Kaposta, number two of Hungary. Quite a gymnast, isn't he? Free kick to Hungary. We're in injury time now. And the sands of time, I think, have run out for Brazil. And here's Albert. It's the side net. And there's Shepish is still driving people on. And Albert is hurt, is he? Yes, Albert behind the goal hurt. Now, Jairzinho, Jairzinho out to Tostau. And how glad I am I didn't miss this match. Garincha. One. And there's Florian Albert. Played as super. Superb match, and where's anybody going to help him? There's been so much that's good about this game, you could write a book about it. Ah, Rakoshi. Zoli. Lima bringing down Rakoshi and Albert's coming back on Albert's coming back on and the Hungarians have only got to retain possession of the ball now and they've dropped two points neatly sewn up but two points doesn't tell the whole story this has been a magnificent performance and the crowd now chanting Albert Albert And the whistle goes. This great match has ended in a victory for Hungary. Three goals to one. The first time Brazil have been beaten in a World Cup match since Hungary beat them in 1954. The first time Brazil have been beaten by a European nation since the 12th of May 1963 when Italy did it. The first time that Brazil have been beaten by anybody for over two years. And Hungary have won 3 1. Benny, Farkas, and Mazzoli from the penalty spot. There's Mazzoli with his arm in his sling, with the goal scorers. The South scored for Brazil, and the crowd rise to these two great teams.